going to open this video now before the path gets really steep. So today I'm doing a slice of the Mamours, which is a beautiful mountain range south of Ben Nevis. It's kind of wedged in between Ben Nevis and uh, the Bidian range. But you've got some absolutely stunning peaks on here. The ones I'm doing today are Mullock, Nancorian, and I'll finish on uh, Stob Barn, which is a really special mountain. I'm hoping for good conditions. It was a bit murky this morning, but things have picked up. made uh, diversions along this path so two or three diversions have been made I think they're doing uh, a lot of logging around here there's quite a lot of heavy machinery so they don't want anyone to uh, get too close to it so we've made diversions unfortunately one of them's went straight up a real steep boggy hill and it's one of them I'm having to prod prod the uh I'll flip you around just prod the pole in the ground to see how deep it goes I've already been caught out a few times, I've been shin deep so far. When I did Ancelic, I was about hip deep. And then it's uh, it can really be a downy morale when you're full of mud. But uh, yeah, got to negotiate this now. I'm not going to do too much setting the tripod up and speaking to the camera that way today. It's more going to be like this, just because I want to be kind of on the move quite fast. I don't want to be stopping too, too much, but there's a lot of dappled light over in the way of Ben Nevis into Glen Nevis, and I think it's uh, the grey corridor behind it, but it really did look spectacular. And the problem with dappled light is keep, it's stopping me from making progress, so I just want to get my camera out. But I'll show you those pictures at the end. They look really nice, especially with everything lush and green at the moment. Yeah, beautiful. Scottish style, the world's changed. It's got windier and the rain's come in, which I half don't mind because that, these conditions usually bring the best light. But the uh, I think I've bit off more than I can chew. It's a fairly long route, this, and I've got to, I've got to get going. My destination, I want to be on Stab Barn which is the uh, final Monroe, Monroe of the day. It's a hell of a long way from here. <laughs> Just reaching the summit of Mullock Nan Corian. 934 metres this one, if I flip you around. Quite a broad plateau, uh, and it's uh, going to link onto the second Monroe Stob Barn, 
but whereas uh, you can do both Monroes in the same day, they're very different in terms of the colour. This one's a very reddish, I think it might be sandstone, correct me if I'm wrong, but the other one's a uh, quartzite or quartzite rock and it's a uh, white greyish rock similar to the rock on Ben A. So I've picked up a piece of rock from this mountain, I'm going to pick up a piece from that uh, mountain too and I'll just show you the difference in colours and it really is reflected in the views you get. On the top of here I'm looking over to, if I flip you around, looking over to the, well you're looking down the barrel of Loch Linney and that's straight out to Oban and we come all the way around into, I think it's Ben Starav, Balahulish Horseshoe, Bidium which is clagged in at the moment and then coming around to the Mamours. But yeah, good views up here. I'm not going to uh, stand and admire though, I'm going to crack on because it's a long walk between these two Monroes and I want to get to the second one where I've still got some good light. So I'll catch you uh, along the ridge. I'm bigging the long lens up again. I'm just zooming in. On the, again, it's quasi rock and it's got a really that white, greyish look to it. And when the sun hits it, it really is uh, really is enhanced. And this long lens is, allow, is allowing me to reach far into the distance. It must be about probably 10 miles away. But it looks absolutely stunning with that light hitting it. So it's heavy and it's a right slog up here with it. But this 100 to 400 mil, mil Sigma lens is an absolute godsend in the mountains because it reaches out even, forget the 200 mil, forget the 200 mil, the 400 mil is getting me right in where all the light's happening. And it looks stunning at the moment. a very dark triangle shaped mountain right in the middle of the frame just in the middle it's, it's the darkest uh, kind of peak right in the middle if I flip you around I think that that peak is this image up here well it's not up here it's gonna be right here now <laughs> but it just show it just goes to show that with the right vantage point and the right light and the right conditions the image can the, the peak can be made to look absolutely spectacular because from here it looks rather uh, featureless and not very photographic but when i had those conditions it absolutely transformed it so it just goes to show different vantage points give you uh, different views right let's head to stop barn
So Stard Barn has a really impressive north face, but I don't know if it'll get any light on it. I don't know how far the sun's going to come around. Maybe in a full on the longest day of the year, it might get some light, but it's a really impressive view as well. But I've got a horrible feeling the sun's going to be directly behind it and it's not going to get, not going to get any light on it. Only one way to find out. I'll show you the view anyway, because it's a, it's a really impressive uh, view. Not so much on the summit, as you get off the summit on the flank of Stop Bar, and then you get the, the full view of the mountain. And it should look pretty good. Just admiring the views, which is an excuse to get my breath back. Just while I'm here though, I've managed to find a piece of quartzite, quartzite rock and the rock I found before, so you just need to look, you can kind of tell the difference. The red one's from Mullock, Nankorian, and the white one's just on the flank of Stob Barn. It's just interesting to see the, uh, the stark contrast between the different kinds of rock on each peak and the fact that you can do both of them in a day. So uh, yeah, really interesting. Anyway. That's enough rock talk. Let's head on up. Just found this amazing view. There's uh, these repeating patterns in the uh, in the rock of Stobarn, and the leading towards the flank of Ben Nevis, which has some amazing light on it at the moment, and it's uh, really really is like lush green. And you can just see the halfway lock in the distance as well, as you're uh, pretty much halfway up Ben Nevis. I'll flip you around because you don't want to see my uh, ugly face. But that's the view, you can see this dramatic rock. Really is impressive and then the lights in the background. I'm not a fan of HDR shots, but this one I think I'm gonna to have to because I really wanna bring out the detail in the rock because it's so impressive. Stob Barn, the highest point of today's journey, standing at 999 metres, it's pretty high and there's one thing I like about a mountain that's 999 metres, while it just peers below a thousand metres, I rise above it. Am I the only one who thinks that? Probably. <laughs> but it's quite a nice little thought to, that the mountain's above a thousand metres and you're a the mountain's below a thousand meters, sorry, and you're above it, so uh, interesting one for you. I'm going to wait up here, see if we get some interesting lights for about 10 minutes, and then I'll make the steep descent down, which I'm not looking forward to. Looking right down the uh, Glen, uh, Glen and Steve now. It looks really amazing. I've just, I'll show you the view now of uh, of Stop Barn from where I am. I've, I've come lower down, and as I predicted, the sun is right behind it, so you can't really see its defining ridge and its uh, amazing shape from here. Hopefully, when I get down further into the Glen, you'll be able to see it more. The light's still good. But I'm just, uh, there's a little lock at the bottom here. I might see what the reflection is like there. And there's really beautiful cascades going down uh, back to the car park as well. So there's uh, stuff to shoot and 
I think sunset is going to be right facing the way I'm walking, so uh, yeah, it's not over yet. So I'm gonna finish the video here. It's been a really long hike, really incredible hike. Showing you around the uh, Mamores in the Highlands. I've only done about one eighth of it. It's a huge area, and there's uh, a lot more of it to explore. I still might get some so shots at sunset going down the uh, going down the path here. If I do, I'll put them up at the end. But if you've liked the uh, video, why not like it, give it a comment, uh, maybe subscribe to help the channel out. I'm going to leave you with some uh, footage of Glen Nevis. I might have called it Glen Eteve before. That was in excitement, it's definitely not Glen Eteve. It's Glen Nevis. Uh, yeah, but from the beautiful Mamours, I'll see you again.